Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff. So I have another recipe to share. It's my white wine mussels. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. Don't be intimidated by seafood. It's not as hard as it looks. You just kind of have to follow the steps. It's a pretty simple recipe, and I think you guys uh, should easily be able to, to, to do this next time you host some family and friends. Uh, I do think you're gonna like it. If you do, as always, leave me a comment in uh, the comment section, hit like on the video, or if you haven't subscribed yet to the YouTube channel, I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, you will never miss any content, any recipes that, that I put out there. It's gonna hit your inbox immediately. Thanks so much for the support, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, my last video on avocado toast. If you haven't tried that one, I would totally encourage you to do it. I uh, hope you're out there enjoying an amazing weekend, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, I want to show you something that's pretty simple. Um, basically, it's just cleaning your muscles. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scrub them and kind of peel these beards off so you can see these little things that hang on the muscle. And so really what we want to do is we just kind of want to rub our fingers uh, and get some of the, the grit and the grime off. And then you can kind of re-soak them. Any of them that are open that haven't uh, shut um, by tapping them or letting them soak, you should throw out because you uh, want to be concerned about the potential for food poisoning. Uh, just throw them out. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you get enough muscles like I did, I have a pound here for two of us, then it's a little easier to, to deal with uh, throwing one out. It's not a big deal. Just don't risk it. Throw it out. You'll feel safer. You go through, you clean them all up, and then I'm going to show you the next steps on getting these things cooked. Uh, they're going to be absolutely amazing. So. Okay guys, just a quick break from the video to show you on the website where you can find this recipe. I laid out a brand new kind of detailed blog post on this entire recipe for you so you can follow it step by step. It has the ingredient list and, and every single step along the way. So I'd encourage you guys to go check that out and then you can always go back to the video and kind of watch the time lapse that I was just doing for you. That way you can kind of follow along and see when I put uh, certain ingredients into the pot and when. I uh, would love to just have any comments or concerns that you guys have or if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks so much for watching. I think that you're going to absolutely love this recipe. It's going to make your kitchen smell amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to check out our, uh, my YouTube channel uh, for Breaking Bread, go ahead and, and follow along there and you can see a couple of the videos that I posted. I would absolutely love it if you guys took a minute to like the videos, if you enjoy them of course and then if you want to subscribe uh, it would be great to have you as well so you can get any upcoming video as soon as that I'm done as soon as I'm done with it and publish it so anyway thanks for following along guys enjoy the rest of the video and we'll see you on the next one Okay guys, pretty easy, right? I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Listen, I think if we eat well, we live well. I totally appreciate your support. Love that you're following the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.